We're doing a snow scene coming up to that part of winter where parts of uh, the UK are, are having some snowfalls. It's a very bright day today, cold. But uh, I thought to have a, have a go. I'm, I'm basing this one on an Edward Wesson painting. We spent a lot of time in the Surrey Hills. And we lived, lived in a place called Shear, near Guildford. And this one I've just sketched in sort of Box Hill, sort of any, any hill really. And, and some trees, but I'm, I'm, instead of using ink for my trees here, I'm going to use burnt sienna and uh, ultramarine. See if I can get a nice, nice, really good dark for the shadow side of these trees. The light's coming from this side. And we'll put in some shadows, nice long shadows. Um, well, we'll decide where we put the shadows afterwards, but if the light's coming from there, then this will come over here. Anyway, I'll wet the paper all over and I'll do a, a quite a, an overcast but brightish sort of sky. Just get, just get it wet. Right, uh, now I'm mixing a bit of alizarin with, with some blue and some red. Oh no, I'm not, I'm going to do the, uh, put the underground, the, under, the background colour on. So I'll use a bit of lemon yellow, a bit of, a bit of uh, alizarin mixed in, put it all over, give the snow a colour, because the snow reflects what's around it. So just, just a, a, a touch of uh, sky colour on there. Now mix the blue and a bit of light red and a bit of, uh, bit of alizarin. A nice, nice sort of warm sky, but but threatening nonetheless with the uh, with some uh, sort of heavy snow on its way. I'll just just tint the paper all over with with that. Now we'll have some much darker cloud on the top. Just got that tinted on there. Pick up the loose water there. I'm just going to stretch the paper for a little bit. Then I'm going to give it a bit of a dry so that I can go over the background colour. not so dry that it won't take up a bit of colour but I don't want the, the colour bleeding now I'm going to put in some of that colour on the top of the hills I will uh, just show that they're sort of snow coloured, coloured uh, hills and a bit of back more a bit of lighter blue on the further one. And then we'll just have those over there. A bit darker there. Under that heavier cloud.
trying to show the shape of the the land with the uh, the trees and the shadows on the distant hills, leaving a little bit of white. Okay, these are distant hills, so we don't have to worry too much about about the shape of them. Do they? Okay. Bit of a hill coming down down there, a bit warmer. Some landscape, the hill. Come across here. Right, let's just cover it quite nicely. Uh, don't like that though. But I'm going to go over this with trees anyway, so it's not critical there. Right again. Nice uh, Sienna Ultramarine. I'm just going to be the bulk of my my dark. But you can make this warmer or or light, warmer or cooler. A bit of a tree coming down there. Sitting on that bank there. Some pieces there. The tree's going to come up there, so nice and dark, dark sort of yellowy, so good old green. Nice and little dark there. I've got a lot of wet on the way out. Lot of. Uh, Almost neat colour, I should have said. I'm concentrating on this and I'm forgetting what to say. Well, just that kind of across there. Right, okay. So we're putting some darks on here. Show some foliage sticking up between. The mounds of snow. Nice and dark. Oh, then we've got some colour over here. Sort of halfway through there. Now, nice blue. Shows some trees behind as well. Maybe some white I can etch out. And we can have a bit of a bit of blue in there.
that's our sort of background middle distance so I'm now going to mix up some some of this uh, burnt sienna and ultramarine if I can get some dark I don't really want to do that with a rigger but I might have to Yeah, I'll try that with a rigger. Yeah, I'll probably try that. Now because we've got the lights coming, I'm going to just sort of show some some light on here on this side of the uh, of this trunk okay nice and dark so but I'm getting away from the drawing I did underneath going. I'm going to put some twigs and stuff over this. So I'll, I'll hold my mouth open here, just don't want to ruin, ruin this lovely tree. Just put a bit of detail in this uh, middle distance here, just to show you something coming up there. It's holding the, the rigor at its tip, but no, I'm quite pleased with that, that's, that's okay. So I'm going to put in a bit of a fence there. Uh, Put a bit in. Don't need to overdo it. And then we go to this one here. Well, another one here. Not dark enough. I'm trying to make this look ink-like, but without using the ink. Oops, I'll cover that with uh, some uh, twigs and a canopy. Put it some uh, trying to show a bit of a path going through the, uh, the snow into 
this area here. Put a lot of detail in that. But this has got just a little bit too soaked in now. I just want to lift that up a little. So just two colours. My grandson at the moment is downstairs. He's not been well today. Last several days, bad cough. So we've got him, but he hasn't noticed me. That I disappeared up here. So I'm ex fully expecting him to to ascend the stairs and discover us. I might have to move and um, yes, I've got to draw my shade. Sorry about that. Right, we'll put in some some dark bits uh, on here. Well, that's my texturing. Right now, I'm going to use my hake now, back to the hake. And try and mix up a sort of a leafy colour with burnt sienna and raw sienna. Don't need a lot, just a just a little bit. Show some harder stuff behind. Okay. Go back to the top of the other one. Using very little water on this. Just dry brushing, just scraping. Oh, just just touches. And then I put in a, a darker mix behind. That's been invaded. Right, I'm going to put the shadows in now. My hake. So the lights, uh, the lights come this way then, because that's where the light is. So, light red, a bit of a lizard in. Follow the, uh, the land. I'm going to let that go for a minute. I'll do that a dry. Fix a couple of figures in here.
Put one there. One here. There is sign language here. You'll be seen there on my camera. I'm going to put in some footprints. Don't really show up a bit. I've just put them in a bit dark, I think. Oops. Right, I think I'll put a signature in that. Now we'll put it in a mount and we'll have a look to see what it takes. These sound effects. But to be saying no. Leave that alone. Right, here we are. Uh, yeah. Let's get the zoom in. Just call this a uh, painting snow. It's rather what you don't paint that suggests the snow and use a lot of blue. Oi. To zoom out. There we go. Right, Paint, painting snow in the Surrey Hills, something like that. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.